Well, it's an exciting day, of course, for a lot of people on the executive. It's one of the most interesting days of, of the four-year calendar. So what's, what's happening today? We've had, as you know, we've published that we've had uh, 18 candidates. There's going to be an opportunity for, for people who aren't members of the executive to, to make presentations so that they're, they're better known to the executive. That's not the case for members of the executive. And that's to balance the disadvantage inherent in not being a member of the executive. So we allow that opportunity. Then, of course, we're going to uh, ask relevant questions and then we'll take a vote and, and uh, let's, see, let's see what happens. And can I have your reactions as well to the results of the poll which GBC made public today? Well, I'd like to see the full analysis, but clearly, I mean, it's, a, it's good news for the GSD. Look, for the first time in 12 years in an opinion poll, the GSD is ahead of the GSLP. It shows what we are seeing and hearing on the streets, that we have momentum and that we have engagement and that people want change. So I'm very glad to hear it, but I'm not complacent. And we're not complacent in the GSD because... Of course, it's not the election result. We're going to work towards an election result. So we we'll work very hard for the next three weeks to ensure that we persuade a majority of the people of Gibraltar to back us so that we can deliver the change that I think Gibraltar wants.